Hey you guys and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 15. Day 15. to get hot pot so i'm gonna take you guys along with us to go there it's like an asian is it asian cuisine or yeah it's like an asian cuisine i'm not sure what like type i know like you know hibachi is those japanese and you got chinese food. i'm not sure what it falls under but it is like an asian cuisine so let's go Okay, y'all, so I did Google it, and it is a Japanese cuisine. So here is us walking in. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. 10 out of 10, recommend this place. It is so stinking good, and they have a lot of different um, branches of it all over the place in Houston. So here we are. I'm just going to show you guys the buffet. So here is where you can pick out all the things that go inside of the broth. You also get to pick the type of broth that you want. They also have all these different, like, seafood options if you don't want to do the, like, meat, chicken, and pork. Um... Today I just did some broccoli. These are, well, this is the cabbage. I stinking love cabbage. And I have found a new love for bok choy. Bok choy is so good. And then these are those really cool crunchy mushrooms that you see on like mukbangs. So I have to get those. But look, y'all, bok choy is my stinking fave. He put too much on my plate, but y'all, I could literally eat this like candy. I always do a ton of garlic. I do some red onion, and then I do a little bit of jalapeno to flavor up my broth. I personally choose the um, regular pork broth, and then I add in my toppings to help flavor that broth. So I always do these udon noodles. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I believe it's called udon, and I love them. They're a thicker type noodle. Oh, y'all, they're just so, so good. And then I also get these pork dumplings. Usually these are pan fried, but there's just something about boiling them that are just so good. And then how I also um, season my broth is I do this garlic sauce, and then I do the chili oil. This chili oil really helps flavor the broth and give it this like, mm, just the perfect, like I can't pronounce, I can't even like explain it y'all. It's just so good. And then I got an unsweet tea with lemon, and then here I am about to go ahead and pour in everything. I know you're supposed to do it in portions, but I always just do it all at once. It's just how I like to do it. And then here it is getting all cooked up and boiled. As you can see, my sauces help boil I mean, help flavor up my boiling broth. Um, Gabe always gets a like miso type soup. I'm not into the miso stuff, but he always does the regular ramen with miso and a bunch of veggies in it. Um, you can also get boiled eggs. So they'll bring out some eggs and you can put the eggs in there as well. And then also today we tried it with some rice. So we got some white rice on the side and it was actually really good to eat with your broth. Um, but yeah, this is what we usually get when we go to Hot Pot. Like I said, I am so obsessed and I love trying different types of foods. Here Gabe is just pouring his out. Um, and then here's mom boiling up. I like to overcook my noodles, apparently, is what Gabe says. My noodles are always, like, mushy, but that's just my personal way and favorite way to eat them. And here's what mine looks like. I think it's so stinking yum. Yeah. And that is one of our absolute favorite restaurants. I know this is a small little vlog, but I wanted to share it with you guys because we were literally obsessed. There was, like, a time where we ate there, like, every night. This place is amazing. If you have one near you, you should definitely try it out. Bye, guys.